Good morning. It's Friday. It's everybody's favorite day. It's normally not mine because it's normally a Monday. But um, today's vacation day. As soon as I get off of work, that's where I'm going. I like your tint job. I know. It's nice, right? I can't get you on camera. It's not bright enough. That's how dark. That's how dark this tint is that this girl just got. It looks good, too. Check it out. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Guava, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I love it. How much stuff do two kids and two adults need for a freaking 11-hour road trip? That's how much. That is how much. Doesn't look like a lot, but considering how usually disorganized we are, it's a lot. But I don't care. It's worth it. Yay! Hey. So, I have a minute or two. Maybe I might not want to adjust these. Hey, so this is like my last moment of like privacy and the ability to just maybe like get my thoughts out. Um, seems to be something I struggle with, with looking at the camera and saying what's on my mind. Um, however, so um, I'm just going to do my stuff while talking to you guys. Hopefully I don't take up too much of your time. Um, I just got off of work and we're about, while well, I'm waiting on Bobby and the kids to get back and, um, we still have some packing to do, some last minute stuff, you know, I've got a note on this mirror over here that says, don't forget to grab the money, don't forget to give the cousin the key to check in on the place, you know, if you ever get the opportunity, even if it's just once, a year, once every four years, once every 10 years to get out of your comfortable space uh, and go on vacation. I mean, it doesn't have to be somewhere big. It doesn't have to be far away. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Check that out. Um, but I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity. You know, my job has been really good to me. Um, uh, I, really, if it, if my job wasn't good to me, then it wouldn't give me this ability to go on vacation, to go see my family and be with my immediate family. IHOP has been good to me, guys. As much as I don't want to sling pancakes anymore, uh, when I was pregnant with Jordan, you know, they let me go on maternity leave, and I had to go on maternity leave early, and uh, I had to come back early because Jordan was late coming out. Um, they also gave me my month off for rehab. I mean, who does that? A lot of places, um, especially Arkansas is a right to work state. So even after, you know, working six, seven, eight months at a place, they could just say, oh, well, we need to replace your position, you know, but I hopped didn't do that. Um, they were very good to me. And if it wasn't for them allowing me to go on this vacation, a lot of I don't know, I'm pretty stubborn. I might have just quit. But anyhow, um, so here I am collecting my thoughts and trying to get ready for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, I, I guess I'm all over the place. What I wanted to say was is you should always be grateful for what you have, you know. Um, uh, I could complain all day long about having to be a mom and pack for my kids and pack for my husband, but some people don't have husbands and kids and they really, really want to have that, you know, and some people will never get sober in their lifetime and they'll never understand what it's like to how good life can be being clean and sober. Um, I live it day to day, you know, um, yeah, I have my bad days just like everybody else, you know, but the difference is, is that I'm able to analyze my feelings and um, use a lot of different tools that rehab has taught me and outpatient has taught me on how to deal with life. Um, 
One thing I never really knew how to do was how to pack for vacation. Nobody could tell me how to do it, how to get ready. And it was stressful and it was a pain in the butt. And But it's huge. It's monumental for me to say that in the next, for the next eight days, I will not be in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I will be in Tennessee living it up. I'm excited. Also, um, also, I've been having a lot of fun with editing. Um, sometimes it takes way too long for YouTube to compact the file and it eats up my battery. <laughs> and this is how ghetto we are, okay? My phone was in my pocket at work one day and I spilled ice all into my pocket and it fried my charger, uh, fried my charging port on my phone. So I found out the hard way because I went to go charge my phone and it fried. It, it almost killed the phone. And we had just got the phones like five, six months prior to that. So uh, what Bobby and I have been doing is switching out the battery between the phones. So he charges his phone, then I take his battery, then he charges the battery. It was dead. My phone. Um, where was I going with this? What was I saying? Oh. <laughs> so... If I spend all day messing around the phone, I don't get a good charge to it. Um, I'm not able to do all the editing that I want to do, but it's a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, for me, it's a lot of fun. Yesterday, I discovered slow motion. Um, I really, 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 really like time lapse. Um, and I think I like time lapse just because even when you're in the moment and you're enjoying the moment, when you're capturing it, and when you're able to reflect on that moment later and you're like, oh, I was in this mindset at this time um, to be able to see that um, even if nobody else knows what's going on, it's kind of cool for me um, because I did do drugs for 18 years. My brain's a little jacked up. I do have a hard time remembering some stuff and I don't, you know. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I just feel like um, I'm as normal as I can be just trying to live a better life. <laughs> um, so maybe just me expressing to a camera that maybe nobody will ever see um, except myself um, makes me have a better day. Um, I don't know. I like doing this. I think it's fun. I think different angles is fun. I think slow motion, time lapse, reverse, um, just the special effects that you can put in. Um, the videos are going to get better. The stories, I don't know. I don't know if you like them. I don't know if you don't like them. I don't really care who doesn't like them because if you don't like them, you don't have to watch them. Um, but I'm going to continue to do it because it's it's the easiest diary I've ever been able to contribute to. So with that being said, I do have a couple more things to do. Um, I'm sure that the other organized people, huh, I say things like this and I don't usually make it to camera, but um, normal people, organized people probably make lists. Well, I mean, I make lists. But they probably, I don't know. I don't know how organized people do it. I just know I do it my way and it works for me. Um, without having to do drugs. Anyway, this rambling, that's all I'm doing is rambling. But um, I still have a little bit more packing to do. And I'm super duper duper ooper. Oh my God, so big excited to be going to Tennessee. So, um, I hope I find good content. I hope that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing and I'll see you in the truck on the way to Tennessee. Okay. Bye. Stop number one, Cracker Barrel. Hello. For those of you that don't know the joy of Cracker Barrel. It is definitely not my cup of tea, but it's a thing. It's 
check it out. Stuff. Country stuff. I'm serious. See? There's pretty stuff. Yeah. Definitely if you were in, looking to spend money. It's country stuff, you know? Wash away your troubles, it says. It says, wouldn't it be great if we could put ourselves in the dryer and come out wrinkle-free? Oh, that'd be Two sizes smaller? That's cool. All right, pot roast. Chicken BLT with fresh fruit. It's huge. Look at the fresh blueberries. And then grilled chicken. And then... What did you get? Catfish. Mm, Catfish. Brava, this is for you. Look at that. 